Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome. This is Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, episode 361. Today, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of some new content that we're doing. In fact, content we've been doing for almost six months now. My name is Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host for this show. I love the martial arts, and so I've really kind of dedicated my life to it. It's my job. It's my passion. That's why I do what I do. And if you want to see everything that I do, everything that we are doing as a team, you can head on over to whistlekick.com and see. Check out the products we make. You can save 15% if you use the code PODCAST15. You can check out links to all of the different projects that we've got going, like Marshall Journal or... Um, what else do we do? We've got a ton of stuff. And I'm having trouble thinking of those things because I'm really focused on what we've got going today. I'm excited. And it's not often that we get to put out something new. Now, one of the things that I've had a lot of feedback on since starting this show, Martial Arts Radio, is that people wanted to see me. Ugh. Well, you may not believe it, but I'm a bit shy and I'm a bit introverted. And it's taken a long time for me to kind of get out of that as I do this show. But finally, after years, uh, after three years, I was ready. Now, I've done a little bit of video here and there, but none of it was that substantial. And I kept playing with this idea of what, what would I do? What would I do with video? It needed to be something unscripted because I don't have time to script another show. It needed to be something short. It needed to be something that I could do consistently. And it needed to be something that was a little different, something fun. Well, starting all the way back on July 5th, 2018, I started drinking my first cup of coffee live on YouTube. And as I woke up, I would talk about something. And then usually in the last minute or so, relate it to the martial arts and offer a thought to the folks watching. Well, after six months of doing that, people were watching. They would write to me. They would let me know, hey, this is pretty good stuff. Please keep doing it. Our YouTube subscriber count was going up. Everything was working well with it. And so finally, here we are, just a little bit into 2019, and we are making it official. First Cup with Jeremy is now an officially spoken of Whistlekick project. Cue the applause. Yay! Now, what is First Cup? If you have not watched it, and you can watch it on YouTube, we'll have a link in the show notes at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. And we are currently building up and should have the, at least the bare bones ready for firstcupwithjeremy.com. And if you're familiar with the martial arts radio site, it's going to be similar. You'll have a link to that day's episode if that's what works for you. And we're also going to be turning this into an audio-only podcast. Because let's face it, watching me sit on the couch with a cup of coffee is not a tremendous amount of visual appeal. If I had hair... Those of you who have never seen a photo of me, I don't have hair. Uh, my hair would be disheveled. I wake up, I put on a robe, and I make some coffee, and I sit down, and I, rec I record. That's it. It's very straightforward, very simple. And what we were really going for, what was important to me, was that it be authentic. I wanted you to see who I was. And there are days where I'm articulate. There are days where I am not. There are days where I end it early because I can't come up with anything to say. We aim for about 10 minutes. There are days where I get 10 minutes in and I think, oh, I need a couple minutes more. And so it goes to 12. But it's simple. And the idea is you sit down. Hopefully you'll have your first cup of coffee with me. Do this live right about 630, sometimes 635, but usually right at 630. I, I do aim for that. Monday through Friday. And hopefully it gives you something to contemplate during the day. I keep it positive. Somewhat motivational. And I'm not going to try and bring you down. But I'm also not going to be anything more than I am. I'm not going to 
lie and jump up and down and say, I'm ready to take on the world because it's 6.30 in the morning before I've had my first cup of coffee. I am not ready to take on the world. But that's what it is. Do I think this show is going to resonate for everyone? Absolutely not. But it's something I'm enjoying doing, and because it is unscripted, it's forcing me out of my comfort zone. It's giving me something to, to work on. Being comfortable in front of the camera. Do I know how that skill is going to play out in the future? No idea. But it's something that felt relevant, so we're doing it. One of my hopes for the show is that people will write in questions. I would love to get, you know, a few dozen people watching every morning and have one or two of you ask a question or two that I can mix in to what I'm talking about, especially since sometimes I'm not sure what to talk about. Once in a while, I think maybe three times ever, I planned ahead what I was going to talk about. It's usually something from my life. I look at what happened the day before or what's happening that day. And I see how that relates to me as a martial artist, as a martial arts business owner, and how that might be of interest to people that are listening or watching. Um, I've debuted a couple products on there because it's easy. I can just grab it and hold it up on screen. So if you want to check out that show, the best thing to do is go to firstcupwithjeremy.com and you'll see everything. We'll have, we'll have the links to the episodes. On YouTube, you can follow the YouTube playlist if you want. Uh, once we get the, the podcast playlist set up, you'll be able to find that there. And we're not going to do any separate social media for it. At least that's not the plan right now. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And hopefully you'll watch. If for no other reason, then you get to say, Hey, I had my first cup of coffee with you this morning. And yes, that is something multiple people have said when I bump into them at martial arts events, which is kind of crazy, but also really fun. And I enjoy that. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can do so with Jeremy at whistlekick.com. That's my personal email address. You can save 15% using the code podcast15 at whistlekick.com. You can follow us on social media. We are at whistlekick on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you have a topic idea for martial arts radio or a guest that you think we should talk to fill out the form on the website whistlekickmartialartsradio.com don't forget there are transcripts and, and just so much out there we've we've put together a ton of stuff i mean we are over three and a half years in now this is episode 361 that's insane most podcasts don't make it past 10 and the only reason we've done this is because of your support so thank you i hope you are having and continue to have a great day so until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.